On June 28, 2008, we went down to Burns Bog in Delta, BC to see what all the fuss was about. Apparently, as part of the Gateway Project, the South Fraser Perimeter Road will be running along the edge of the bog. I'll say it's the biggest peat bog in Western North America, yeah. and, it, and it acts as a massive carbon sink. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so it's June 28th and I'm standing in Burns Bog, uh, just a couple minutes down the road from my house. Um, Burns Bog is the largest peat bog in Western North America. And with the South Fraser Perimeter Road, if it goes through the edge of Burns Bog, it could alter the, basically the ecosystem integrity. Um, it basically acts as a massive carbon sink, storing carbon. So if that stops functioning, then that, that carbon will be released in the atmosphere. Burns Bog is an estuarine raised peat bog found in a Mediterranean climate. In fact, it's the only one of its kind in the world. It's also a huge carbon sink because it stars carbon far more efficiently than tropical rainforest. It produces more oxygen. In fact, uh, if you look at the recent study from the United Nations, 10% of the world's carbon greenhouse gases come from the destruction of peat bogs, and yet only 3% of the Earth's surface is covered with them. So we've got uh, something really special here and we need to keep it protected because the safer it is, the less uh, greenhouse gases are going to be emitted from it. If it starts emitting greenhouse gases, it's going to become a major producer. And this is why we're so concerned about the South Fraser Permanent Road and the impacts on the bog. Not to mention the pieces of bog that are going to be destroyed with building of the road as well. And when you consider that the rising price of gas and the fact that you're going to have the um, port in Prince Rupert in operation in a, two or three years, it doesn't make sense to build a road that's going to be obsolete within a few years. There are so many issues involving the South Fraser Perimeter Road. It's not just one thing. It's loss of uh, communities, it's loss of heritage, it's you know, the impact on schools and our children, it's the lo potential loss of the bog, uh, loss of farmland. It just goes on and on that people are overwhelmed and I don't think they know quite what to do about it, but I think one of these days we're going to find out that they're all going to rise up and say no. I just hope it's not too late.